Hello, Epic friends. Thank you for joining me again. Um, we are going to be reading in John, John chapter 10, and that's under the heading, The Good Shepherd and His Sheep. Um, we're going to be skipping down um, and starting at verse 7 through 18. So John chapter 10, verses 7 through 18. Go ahead and find your place in your Bible so that you can read along, follow along, or listen. And grab your journal and a pen so that you can take some notes, jot some things down. All right. I'm going to get started. John chapter 10, verses 7 through 18. Therefore, Jesus said, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may, li they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. All right. I know that earlier in this epic year, we touched on the Jesus I am statements. And so we covered part of this passage and talked about that. And so um, maybe there are some things that you wrote down or took note of or thought of at that time. Um, again, write in your Bible, in your journal, um, and think about um, what comes to mind or what you're reading. Um, circle those things. Um, we'd love to talk to you more about them. All right. Thanks for joining us.